Hi, I'm Steve. I'm going to share my thoughts on how you can achieve a better financial future. Please remember, I don't know anything about your situation, so think for yourself and use what fits. Let's dig into the topic of debt today. Debt always wears a friendly face at first, but it often turns into the devil after the deal is done. Debt claims to be your servant, but can easily end up as your master. Tread carefully. Let's talk about it. There's a big difference between productive debt and non-productive debt. Debt is productive if it's likely to create a financial return. A financial return is something like education that leads to higher future earnings, an investment in a growing business, or maybe buying a house instead of paying rent. If you do the math, this kind of debt can be good. Non-productive debt is usually just consuming more now than you could otherwise afford. Think credit card debt, car loans, borrowing for a big vacation, etc. It can also be loans for a degree that is never completed or has no career value. Still might be worth it, but be very careful. Non-productive debt is dangerous because it doesn't create the income needed to pay it back. There are as many types of debt as there are flavors of ice cream, but there are some easy to digest shortcuts that will help you understand them. First, interest is the cost of borrowing money. This is the cost of spending money now instead of later. In general, this cost varies in two ways. The better your credit score, the less you pay. And the more security the lender has, i.e. collateral, the less you pay. From a lender's standpoint, it's all about how likely they are to get their money back. A person with good credit who's borrowing to buy a house, for example, might pay under 4%. But a credit card borrower could pay as much as 20%. Think about that. On a $20,000 balance, one loan costs $800 per year, while the other, the credit card debt, costs $4,000 per year. That's a real difference. Second, an important question. Can the interest on the debt be deducted from your taxes? If so, that's a real plus. It lowers the cost of having it. For example, debt used to purchase a home is generally deductible, but credit card debt is not. You also want to consider how long you have to pay off the loan. Longer is usually better because it gives you more flexibility, especially if there's no prepayment penalty. Well, that's it for this session. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.